My name is April Schluter, and I came into coaching a little bit of a, of a weird kind of way. I had actually quit my job in January of 2015 um, after having worked a whole bunch of different types of jobs and not feeling fulfilled and um, some health issues that I encountered got me to this place where I decided that I was going to wipe the slate clean and try to figure out what I was going to do next. And this was an opportunity for me to, you know, try to define my ideal job. And after a couple months, I was thinking about my strengths and kind of almost coaching myself, but not realizing it, but really thinking about, you know, what are my strengths and what was I here to do, trying to find my purpose. And I came up with this idea of, you know, realizing that um, I have an engineering brain, so I do a lot of um, problem solving and I love to help people. And I am really good at taking processes and making them more efficient. I'm super organized and super productive. And I thought that it was going to be this great idea if I could just help people streamline their lives. So I was telling people about this ideal dream job that I wanted to create and everyone that I talked to was saying, you know, have you thought about being a life coach? And I have heard the term. I, I didn't really know anything about personal development prior to that time. And so I didn't necessarily know what that meant and I decided to look into it after a couple months of resistance and did a you know search of different programs that would work on certification and IPEC was the first one that came up and so I ended up um, deciding to enroll in that program after doing a little bit of research because it was the program that I was most excited about and seemed to resonate with me the most so that's how I ended up in IPEC. Being in IPEC and going through the entire program has changed my life immensely. I, I went in knowing that that might happen, but I didn't realize how much it was going to impact my life. It was, I definitely shed a lot of tears while I was there, but I've never challenged myself in that way because I didn't really even know what personal development was at the time. Um, I understood what professional development was, but um, I never thought about taking the, those same tools and applying them to my life. So I've grown so much. My life has changed. I have a really, really great coaching practice that I've been running. I've spent the last year um, since I actually started writing when I was in IPEC, but I, I have a book that's coming out in a couple months uh, from the time that we're interviewing and recording this video. But um, I have just done all of these things that I never thought that I was going to do and accomplish. And so um, it's been it's been amazing. I I think that being a part of that program not only taught me how to be a coach, but how to grow on a personal level and you know, it, it almost gives you, you know, double value because you're working on yourself while you're working on figuring out how to help other people too. The peer coaching had an immense impact on my growth as a coach just because I could see myself um, as the coach coaching somebody else who understood the concepts of coaching and was able to give me that feedback. But I also really enjoyed being on the other end where I was the client and, you know, different things would come up as, as a client and different things that I would think about that would not only help my peer coach, but also make me sit in that space where a client would be and be able to just feel what that feels like. So you, you kind of got both ends of the spectrum being both the client and the coach and the people that I coached were amazing. It was really great to have a deep relationship for an extended period of time and just to even experience what that would be like to work with a client for, for not just one session, but for 12 sessions. My mentor coach uh, was wonderful. It was really, really nice to have somebody who had experience and was already out in the field doing coaching and getting their perspectives um, and just almost having that direct feedback, but also being able to help um, 
that mentor as, as I guess, a rookie of sorts. And what was really great about the mentor coach that I was paired up with was that some of the ideas and the niches that I were, I was, um, experimenting with at the time she was able to play those roles with her regular life because I wanted to work with people who were busy and, and had overwhelm and she knows that feeling so it was really great to be able to coach a real life example um, with her and so it really boosted my confidence because I think that every coach is always afraid of you know, am I doing this good enough? And is, is this okay? Am I, am I doing the right thing? And just having that validation from somebody who is more knowledgeable was absolutely valuable. I think that the Passion to Payoff program was really, really valuable in getting you the basics of different ways that you can leverage your coaching business. Because um, in IPEC, we talk a lot about actually how to coach and the, the, the whole side of learning how to start a business is a complete different ball game. So really knowing the different forums of how you can leverage your coach training but, and how you can interact with people, whether it be on a private scale or in group settings or you know, doing workshops and all of those options. It was a great um, overall exposure to the different options that you could um, do. And I took everything that I learned in that program and tried to mold that into what would work for me and in my business. And so it was a really, really great introduction and gave me some things to think about while I was learning about how to be an amazing coach. So it was definitely super helpful. So my business is called the cheerful mind um, and the whole concept of it is that I work with busy overcommitted professionals and entrepreneurs um, or working parents basically people who are struggling with work-life balance and want to have a more fulfilling life while getting it all done so my tagline is um, helping people have more fun while getting stuff done. I, there's, I coach around primarily happiness and productivity, and I will soon be an author, and my book is titled Finding Success in Balance, uh, My Journey to the Cheerful Mind. And so it talks about the concept of my struggle to find work-life balance and what I learned along the way, and there has been a lot of IPEC influence in the book and the things that I've learned about being busy and staying focused on goals and really creating the life that you want to live. If somebody is considering LPT or doing the full coach training, I would probably say that, you know, if you're thinking about becoming a coach, going into LPT is definitely worth a try because you get to hear the basic fundamentals of, of, of coaching as a, as a career, but you also have this insane amount of learning, um, on a personal level. So even though you're learning some of the, the, the basic principles of coaching, LPT really gives you that opportunity to also grow on your own. And I would definitely recommend that to anybody who is interested in personal development at all and potentially becoming a coach. Um, for the second and third modules of the, the entire coaching program, there's a, a definite jump in growth between mods one and two and mods two and three. So um, really, really being able to see how your coaching changes and, and shifts into this new you of sorts, um, it, it really gives you that full perspective and that full um, experience of what it is like to be a coach and being able to take you know, your skills and, and start to slowly implement them into um, into just the basic coaching principles. So um, I definitely recommend it for anyone that's interested. It, personal development takes a while and um, going through mods one, two, and three, um, in those times in between each of the trainings, there's so much growth that's happening that you almost need that entire nine months to a year to really experience the full value of the program. But it has been an amazing ride for me and I'm looking forward to going back and um, revisiting. I'm, you know, very, very soon going to um, volunteer and experience those mods again um, very, very soon. 
and it's just going to be a great way to kind of sharpen my skills and, and get reconnected and stay connected with the IPEC community. Mm -hmm.